Welcome to Volume 8, uh, Episode 5. What is this episode called? I, I call it something different. Amity. The Amity Tower. Um, I wonder if they're going to get that finally done. Um, pretty much, we left off uh, with Oscar going against uh, Salem. <laughs> and there was actually something uh, interesting that I forgot to mention. Um... There's a theory going around saying, uh, if you guys remember, Mrs. Goodwitch might actually be the, how would you call that? Um, she might be the relic. Uh, that's a theory. I'll put it down in the link in the description. Um, <laughs> other than that, let's get started. Oh, real fast, I forgot to mention, I guess there might be a bigger monster coming soon, too. That last one. Dad. Penny? This does not seem like a very good idea. There is a difference between a good idea and our best idea. Sadly, we don't have time for much else. We have enough systems up and running to broadcast our message and keep Amity in atmospheric orbit. But our thrusters just aren't capable of reaching our target altitude on their own. <laughs> Fortunately, we're sitting on a couple hundred tons of thrust. <laughs> Once we've passed into broadcasting range, We'll activate stabilizers, re-establish global communications, and boost the message we've recorded out into the rest of the world. After that, <laughs> we just have to pile an Amity away from all of this mess. But what if no one is able to come and help Atlas? If I stay behind, I could maybe... Penny, we are not having this conversation again. I'm your father. I'm telling you that you belong on Amity. Yes, sir. Don't you think Penny has had enough people telling her what to do? <sighs> Prepare for launch, please. I'm moving us into position. All systems are ready. Penny? Amity is requesting launch access. Now. Oh, yes, it worked! <laughs> oh, uh, I didn't have time to install seatbelts, so uh, I'd advise you to hang on. <laughs> Thank you. 
And where do you think you're going? Timmy, no! Please tell me she fights. <laughs> That's all I want. <laughs> and what do you want? Huh? <laughs> oh, please, please, please! Yes!
no, no. I know I can't beat you. But I can fill that thing full of holes before you take me down. Get us out of here! Hurry! Stabilizer was damaged. We've missed our window. At this rate, we'll likely drift into touching down just north of. I can fix this. What? Our message is only a few minutes long. I can try and hold Amity in place until. Absolutely not! You're in no condition to do something like this. Even just the temperature out there could... It is our only option. She is right, Pietro. We have to remember the big picture. I don't care about the big picture! I care about my daughter! I lost you before. And you're asking me to go through that again? No. No. I want the chance to watch you live your life. Trying to. Right. My name is Ruby Rose. I'm a huntress. And if we've done everything right, then I'm talking to all of Remnant right now. Dr. Paul and Dina can explain more later. But right now, you all need to know that the Kingdom of Atlas is under attack. Things are dire, and we need help. But please, try not to panic. This isn't some new enemy or invading kingdom. This is a force we've faced before. For centuries. Salem. Dude. The White Fang. Atlesian drones. Even the Grim themselves have all been controlled and manipulated by her in order to tear down the Huntsman Academies. <laughs> I know the idea of the Maidens and Relic seems, well, crazy. But I promise Professor Goodwitch a Beacon and Headmaster Theodore of Shade can verify all of this. They might even be able to help organize a way to fight back. But, sadly, General Ironwood can no longer be trusted. It seems Polandina's proxy trick worked. And that's good news for us. Penny's blades operate on the same principle as Amity and the launch terminal. In order for her to control them all, they need to communicate with one another. We didn't have time to prepare for Salem. 
But now you do. Just because she can't be destroyed doesn't mean she can't be beaten. If she really was unstoppable, she wouldn't have acted with such caution until now. She knows we're a threat. So even if we... Even if Atlas falls, you can't give up. <sighs> Sweetheart, get back inside. We can ride out on no. Amity together. Uh, I, I have to go. The bolts. Uh, no. Dad. Penny, what is happening? Please, baby, say something. Global comms just went back down. And Penny isn't responding. What did you do? Exactly what you asked. It's possible Penny's systems are merely rebooting. As for the tower, well, perhaps Pietro isn't the genius you thought. <laughs> We're not waiting. You're going to find her. Winter. Sir? Until Penny either responds, or is standing in front of that vault, we cannot assume her status. Take the ASOPs. I want constant updates. Get him back to his cell. With pleasure. That was the broadcast. Why did we lose signal? There's another one! I think it's just up ahead. What is this? It's grim. A river of grim. Heading straight for the kingdom. Holy shit. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, holy shit. We got a lot to talk about. Holy shit. Good Witch came back. We finally saw Good Witch. Uh, we saw the saw uh, Keeper. Jeez, this is a... The other episodes were good, but this one just took it all away. I can't wait to see, I think they go up to 12 or 14 this time. Holy shit. A lot of heartbreak going to happen pretty soon. But thank you guys for watching so much. Hope you liked and subscribed. Stay tuned for more. And I will see you guys in the next, next time. So, oh, Jesus. I'll see you guys later. Bye.